Innovations in video cameras and low-light sensors are exposing previously unseen animals in the deep sea. In order to survive, creatures that exist thousands of feet beneath the ocean surface have developed unique adaptations that have evolved over thousands of years in order to help them get through the harsh environment. Those adaptations have made some incredibly unique and unusual looking creatures. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button to help us out. Now, here are 10 of the most bizarre underwater creatures that actually exist. Number 10, Atlantic Wolffish. Living in freezing depths of up to 152 meters below the surface, the Atlantic Wolffish is one of the four recognized species and are hitches reported in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. This er, handsome creature has a long eel-like body decorated with 20 or so crosswire bars and is found in a variety of colors ranging from slate blue to dark green. Its unusually long dorsal fin reaches from the back of its head all the way to its tail, and even more unusual is its giant head, bulbous eyes, and thick lips. Its equally giant mouth is home to a set of incredibly terrifying teeth that are made up of long canines and strong molars that can withstand a diet of some of the most difficult animals to chew on, like crabs, starfish, sea urchins, and many other hard-shelled creatures. Norwegians have aptly named this creature Steinbit, which fittingly means stone crusher. With a diet like that, I guess we can kind of understand why this creature decided to skip out on the orthodontist. Number 9. Frilled Shark Our next deep creature was recently caught in the oceans near Portugal. The shark was lifted up more than 2,000 feet by a taller, which revealed a terrifying 5-foot-long frilled creature with hundreds of recurved teeth. Considered a living fossil, this species actually hasn't evolved at all since its inception 80 million years ago. Frilled sharks, a distant relative of great whites and hammerheads, have been cruising the planet's depths since the era of the dinosaurs. These sharks have been discovered throughout the Atlantic and off of the coasts of Japan and Australia. Just like modern sharks, they have a hinged jaw and can quickly snap shut to capture their targets. From there, their muscular physique and their terrifying recurved teeth prevent even the strongest of prey from escaping. As explained by Dr. Dave Ebert, once locked on, you can only back out one way and that's in towards the mouth. Since they live in such great depths, these creatures are quite uncommon and researchers know very little about this species and its overall population. Number 8. Anglerfish Residing in arguably one of the most inhospitable environments on the planet, this deep-sea creature has every justification for looking constantly angry. Their massive heads and giant crescent-shaped mouths are packed with transparent, razor-sharp teeth. What's up with fishes having crazy-looking teeth? Well, their mouths are so gigantic and their bodies so pliable that they're actually able to consume prey twice their size. They can grow to be quite large, measuring up to 3.3 feet, and are found usually dark gray or dark brown in color. Their most distinguishing feature, which only the females have, is a rod of flesh extending from their foreheads that glow at the tip. This is actually part of its dorsal fin and is used as bait to attract prey often larger than itself before subsequently swallowing them whole. It's probably best that we leave this creature of the deep in the lonely abyss. Number 7. Hagfish This wriggly deep-sea bottom dweller looks a little like an eel and can be found in waters as deep as 5,600 feet. Pinkish gray in color and approximately two feet long, the hagfish is actually spineless and also lacks a mouth and set of eyes. However, what the hagfish lack in parts it makes up for in its uniquely bizarre defensive mechanism. This eyeless creature deploys a protein-based jelly-like substance that it deploys to defend itself against predators. When they feel threatened or stressed, they emit just less than a teaspoon of slime from hundreds of glands on their sides, which quickly expands into liters of slime just in a fraction of a second. This slime is made up of strands that are actually stronger than nylon, thinner than human hair, and very flexible, making the substance surprisingly useful and therefore valuable. Some experts even believe that the unique properties of the slime could impact future designs of everything from clothing to missile defense. Number 6. Faceless Cusk Eel 
In a recent exploration off Australia's east coast, researchers discovered a faceless monster that looked like a whole new species. Or was it? What they were actually looking at was soon discovered to be a Tiflanus nasus, which hadn't been seen in marine environments since the late 1800s. The faceless cusk, scientifically known as Typhlonus nasus, is a type of cusk eel that can be found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans they usually gather in depths of up to 5,000 meters. That's around a whopping 16,000 feet. Despite its name, this creature isn't actually faceless, but rather has an extremely reduced face. Its mouth is found on the underside of its head, and its eyes, being burrowed so deep beneath its skin, are practically invisible. This species can grow up to 28.5 centimeters in length and is the only known member of its genus. Must be quite lonely. Well, we're now about halfway through our video. If you're still with us, comment bizarre down below. Now on to number five, the goblin shark. Dubbed for their eerie resemblance to the goblins in Japanese mythology, goblin sharks are incredibly ancient fish that live at the ocean's bottom along the edges of our continents. These creatures are so long that their lineage in fact goes far back as some 125 million years ago. They are often seen off the coast of Japan and can grow up to 13 feet and weigh up to a whopping 460 pounds. They have long, narrow, and absolutely gnarly looking snouts with fang-like teeth. Since they're not fast swimmers, goblin sharks often ambush their prey by using their natural buoyance to drift towards their target and avoid detection. Once in range, goblin sharks have specialized jaws that can snap forward and capture their unsuspecting prey quickly. The protrusion of their sharks is actually assisted by a pair of elastic ligaments, which upon biting, release their tension, essentially catapulting their jaws forward. This unique feature of the shark really gave it a jaw-dropping appearance. Number four, blobfish. You probably already expected this one. Unfairly voted as the world's ugliest animal, the smooth-head blobfish, also known simply as blobfish, is a deep-sea marine species found off the southern stern coast of mainland Australia in the seas of Tasmania and New Zealand. They live in depths of up to 1,200 meters, where the pressure can reach as high as 100 times greater than that of what we would consider normal levels. Because of this extreme pressure, the blobfish's flesh developed into a pliable, gelatinous mass, which enabled it to survive the harsh environment of the seafloor. Although they may look like giant pink gelatinous blobs to us, when seen in their natural habitat, blobfish look pretty much like a regular fish. Their main source of food is edible matter, such as deep ocean crustaceans, which usually simply float in front of them. Often caught in bottom trawling nets, blobfish are frequently damaged during the entire process, leading to these now infamous unsightly selfies. Number three, ghost shark. Known formally as Chimeris, ghost sharks were at one time based on fossil records, a diverse and abundant group. The last common ancestor to these sharks lived nearly 400 million years ago, but today they are most closely related to sharks and rays. They are confined to extremely deep waters of up to 8,500 feet and usually live in warmer areas of the ocean floor. They are found in all oceans except for the Arctic and Antarctic. This bizarre creature grows up to 5 feet in length and has an elongated, pliable body with a bulky head and a single opening for its gill. They are usually found in colors of black to brownish gray and have venomous spines in the front of their dorsal fins for defense. Their upper jaws are fused to their skulls and they have only three pairs of large permanent grinding tooth platters. Quite a difference from their toothy modern sharks. Number two, vampire squid. Despite their name, these creatures don't actually suck or drink blood. Instead, the vampire squid gets their name from the dark color and skin that resembles a cape. Also considered a living fossil, these small cephalopods live in deep, temperate, and tropical seas and were initially assumed to be a type of octopus, though upon further inspection were later classified as a squid-octopi hybrid. 
Scientists have therefore separated these bizarre creatures into their own unique group. They live in the dark ocean waters between 2,000 and 3,000 feet and have massive bulging blue eyes, the largest of any type of animal on Earth. These bizarre creatures have been swimming our oceans for millions of years, having fossil records dating as far back as 165 million years. Maybe these creatures are called vampires because they haven't aged? Well, you're nearly at the end of our video. Before we continue, make sure you're subscribed Subscribed. That way you'll always be notified of our future videos. On to number one, Deep Steria Jellyfish. An exhibition conducted by the Ocean Exploration Trust captured a documented yet strikingly rare jellyfish transforming next to their remotely piloted robotic vehicle nearly 2,600 feet beneath the ground in the distant Pacific Ocean. It's found to be a Deep Steria Jellyfish, an extremely rare species with the ability to stretch and change shape. This transforming creature is also luminous and translucent. Talk about a triple threat. They usually live in depths of up to 3,000 feet beneath the sea surface and are found in the Antarctic, the Pacific, and the Gulf of Mexico. Because of its rarity and its morphing body that can form into seemingly whatever size and shape it wants to, not much is really known about the anatomy of the deep steria jellyfish. For now, we'll just have to try and understand them from a distance. Hey, thanks for watching. Want to suggest a video or have something to say? Let us know in the comments section below. Check out our wildlife playlist for more videos like this one.